That he died because due to diarrhea and malaria. Mm. To hear that uh, women and children are dying, uh, it's very, very painful. It's very painful because most of these deaths are preventable. Most of these are preventable. The main problem is uh, limited access to, to maternity services. They are very far from these health units with very bad road network. So they start going to labor in those homes in the villages. It's a very big risk to many of them. This is a community of very many illiterate people. They have not gone to school, but you find even due to the illiteracy problem, they are not able to, to, to tell this condition needs a, a doctor, it needs health center, it needs a hospital. When a woman is less educated, she is most times actually she she comes for antenatal late. So because they attend antenatal late, eh, some of the complications are not identified early. Therefore, she is more likely to to have a maternal death or even a, 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 a baby who is born dead. You find a mother will decide to give birth at home. One, maybe because she doesn't have the transport and the money to go to the health unit. Two, maybe because she has her beliefs in her mind that has discouraged her from going to the hospital. And there has been nobody for her to counsel her, to teach her, to tell her the facts on ground. She ends up giving birth at home. The baby dies due to a, a very simple hmm, reason and we have lost life. With the training that we, are, that we are giving them, we are able to tell them the danger signs on a pregnant mother, the danger signs on a baby, and you, you can see a difference between our mothers who are registered and those in the community. Parapinando, 
be able to prevent these deaths. It is possible and I think we can do it. I believe, I think we can work hard and we can do it. We are not too poor. We can do it. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe it should end at the beginning.